In this next example, we show how to use the case statement. The case statement is something in SQL that's really cool. Uh, let me just do a select from the employee table real quick. Okay, see we have a whole bunch of salaries in here, everywhere from less than 100,000 to way over 100,000. So let's do um, this. Let's run this query here. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm selecting the first name, uh, the employee's last name, and then their salary. And what we want to do though is show how can we use the select case statement. What I'm going to do too is I'm just going to uh, indent this so it's a little easier on the eyes. And I'm going to add one more field. Let me just put another space in here. Case. Um, when, when you do um, when you're doing a, a case statement, you do when and then. Let me indent this again. Uh, when em salary greater than or equal to 100,000, then, and then we'll return uh, We'll return this. Now, else, we're just going to leave it blank. And then, you have to put end to end a case statement. And then, we'll, we'll name this field something. Uh, we'll just call it notes. So basically, in this one, we're going to return the first name, the last name, and the salary. But then in this case, if the salary is equal to or above 100,000, we're going to write this cute little note. Otherwise, we're not going to write anything, and we're going to call that fourth field notes. So let's take a look and see how that looks. Whoops. And then let's, let's comment out this guy. Bam. So you see, here's how, and here's how it looks now. So 110,000, you know, that's over six figures. 108,000, that's over six figures. 151, 350, 850, 456. So you see, that's how you use the case statement. It's conditional. Uh, when something is that, then you do that. When something's that. Now, if I wanted to do one last thing on this, what you can do Is, is something like this. First of all, you could strip out everything that's over a quarter of a million, like the 350, the 850, and the 456, and then these people hit the jackpot. And then anything that's greater than or equal to 100,000 would say six figures. But notice it already took into account anything that's a quarter million or above. So what, what it does when it drops down, after it evaluates this line, either something satisfied by that or it isn't, and then it writes the word jackpot. If it doesn't fit into this, then it will look at this. So really, because this comes first, this second line is really like saying anything that's greater than or equal to 100,000 but didn't fall into this. So it's really greater than or equal to 100,000 and less than 250,000, and that's what comes up with six figures. So here's 110, that's between 100 and 250. And there's 108. That's certainly between 100 and 250. So that's how that works. That's the that's the case statement in SQL Server.